Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan Zoffel, aka Big Baby Jonathan. What's up YouTube? Andy from the Sports Card Flip Game here. Hi, my name is Bear Condenser and I am the man behind BD Packs. What's up guys, here for 12 is here back with another video. What is up guys, this is Manny with a lot of treasures and today I am here to talk about this amazing person, Kobe Bryant. And I've got a very special video today where I'll be paying tribute to Kobe Bryant. Kobe influenced me because he inspired me to be more aggressive when it comes to this podcasting. I take the no for an answer, not being discouraged by those. And sometimes I get that, oh, I want to give up. No, hell no. Well, a lot of them would just be like, oh my God, I'm hurt. Let me just sit. You know, I said, nope, no, 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 no. And I would give up. I try to give up. You know, I always think, you know, Kobe Bryant would give up. Let's watch the Kobe video, get your mind right, let's get back to work. Kobe will try and push through, no matter what. Kobe gets that hands down, he worked harder. I would have bad times at series of co-workers and um, managers and stuff, and I'll be like, man, I want to give up, and i watch Kobe videos, and then it uplifts me, uplifts me. It motivated me to do what I'm doing today. Going out and auditioning, working and working and working and being better and better and better. Every time I do a podcast, I watch film on myself to get better. If I make a mistake, okay, what can I do to get better? You know, I take stuff that Kobe learned from the game into my podcasting career and my life career. This this guy inspired me to be a better person, you know, and and to have that kind of mentality in every in every approach of my life, you know. I idolize this man. This man was everything I wanted in a professional career. As everything I wanted to be as a person. Whether that be in the dad approach, you know, which I am, you know, um, uh, husband approach, game approach, uh, my channel. He and I are both men of God, and that actually hit home for me that somebody with that platform chose to express it in a very respectful and positive manner. Started watching basketball to the court, right? I hated him. Oh, who would have thought, right? Maybe I'm, I'm a Lakers fan. Texas, I'd be like, oh, well, you'll be a Spurs fan, but yeah, I would be a Lakers fan because of Kobe. Of course I idolized Kobe Bryant, but I was a diehard Mavs fan. He wasn't playing for the Mavs, so I hated him. I remember watching this Kobe 81 point game. And he would beat us every single time, and that would destroy me. It wasn't fair. When he put you, the USA team on his back and just came back against Spain, he had like like 14 points in the fourth quarter. I saw his championships. And he won the championship and he got on top of the sports table and just had yeah, the fans. I saw his 60 point game. Against the Jazz, that was just awesome. That was just something else. I saw him pass MJ, I saw all of it. No, this is the best Laker moment for Kobe Mike career that I watched. It was 81, man. One of my favorite series. To watch was definitely the 2001 NBA Finals against Allen Iverson and the 76ers. I mean, you know who Allen Iverson is, you know. Both of them were absolutely fierce competitors. And the trash that they would talk to each other, knowing that it was always coming from a good place and they had respect, made their matchups just absolutely must-see TV. Achilles. And he, he limped back out to the court, man. This guy right here, this guy right here limped back out onto the court barely could stand on his feet <laughs> and shoots his two free throws drains them like nothing just his work ethic just his demeanor just his passion for when he talks ultimately we're all just trying to do one thing we're all trying to be great they're the hardest workers in the room right mama mentality is absolutely a thing no, we're all trying to be better than great and I will have to say it's definitely on his mentality, you know. Um, he was, you know, a 17-year-old kid coming out of high school, you know, and and he wanted to prove to the world that he was the best, you know. We're all trying to work that mama mentality. That's the kind of mentality that I wish a lot of us have in, in our aspects of life. And that's where he had that mentality all over. I wanted more championships than him. I wanted more MVPs than him. I wanted to break every record he had. I wanted that. Have always had nothing but respect for Kobe. Because I saw and appreciated how hard he worked. His very first game, he went hard. 
The second game, he went hard. His hundredth game, he went hard. We get stats, championships, all stars, MVPs. He was just a person to look up to. Regardless of where he was, he made sure that people knew, hey, I know this is uh this is your home, but right now this is my court and I'm gonna prove it to you. Kobe just a great person, a great father, a great basketball player, a great writer. He's great at everything he does on the court and off the court. He had it in the court, outside the court, you know. And having losing seasons or winning winning championships, he will still come back strong the next year. So it's like it's always we want to look at it in a positive way. Growing up a basketball player with a dream to go to the NBA, he was the guy I idolized. He was the guy I wanted to beat. And I think about that adage that says, to be the best, you've got to beat the best. I didn't want to be Kobe Bryant. I wanted to beat Kobe Bryant. Well, at that time, Kobe Bryant absolutely was the best in the game. He was uh, definitely one of the best, you know. You get a little bit tearful. Right now, but it's all good. I gotta push through like Kobe would, you know, so. And a lot of times, you know, I go back to these cards and I start looking and you know, I start reading, you know, some of the info in the back. Near Metal, rookie. Such an amazing card, such a nice card. Stay in my collection forever. It's Paul. Kobe Bryant. <gasps> and this is a card that I pulled when I was probably a junior or senior in high school. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kobe Bryant's 81 point plaque and has a Kobe card in it, you know? Oh, I'm shaking. Oh my God, I'm shaking. For me, this signifies Kobe to a T, right? He started from the bottom, he worked his way up. This actually probably one of my favorite cards right here, this Fleer Genuine. I literally had to stop filming for like 15 minutes. I just cried. Obviously, signature, signature series, Kobe Bryant autograph. Such an amazing card. Favorite of all time. Keeping this forever. I'm oh, rest in peace. This was actually in his hand. He signed it. I can't believe this. He was inspiration, mentor. Even though I never spoke to him, but you know, watch his videos, read his speeches. Kobe followed me on Twitter and we exchanged messages because I said, uh, "Steve Blake," and he's like, "White Mamba." I said, so when you coming back, he said, Lakers have to hold down the fort until I get back. I am going to have that story to give to my kids. And it was a cool little conversation. I was like, wow, Kobe followed me and he responded and he messaged me on Twitter. But more importantly, hearing about how he was off the court. Respecting him as a person, a father, an athlete, a professional. I just grew to love him that much more since his retirement from the NBA. Who's won an NBA championship, who is a great family guy, respected for great reasons. He's a great man in general. Kobe is absolutely a man of respect. He didn't seek out the spotlight. He carried on that same passion and enthusiasm. Kobe was just a great man, great person. Always wanted us the best even after basketball he was writing he was very he was, he was a very great businessman one day kobe bryant won a freaking academy award kobe bryant was an oscar winner people who are willing to speak up but who treat others and everyone with respect and that right there just says a lot about a person and in today's society we need more people like that you know he's made a lot of dreams come true for a lot of um for a lot of kids out there he gave back to others and you saw that in his charitable pursuits in his uh you know workings with women's sports you know and people in the nba now are probably inspired by by this you know, by this beautiful beautiful soul you know if i ever meet if i ever we got a chance to meet you. I would thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for helping me get to where I'm at. Um, obviously, on January 26, 2020, Kobe Bryant was uh, taken from us. So that Sunday, I was sitting in a restaurant, and I looked at my phone, and I saw he died. I was crushed. Once it confirmed by Wardenowski, I started to ball out, crying, and... It sucks that he passed away. It really does. You know what I mean? It
crushed. He never took anything for granted. He fought and fended off every challenger along the way. I'm gonna keep it real. Ever since he passed, 2020 has been Rest in peace, Colby. I miss you so much. We really do. His time was definitely cut short. You know, I, I, I was hoping, you know, to um, hear his uh, his locker room stories, as they call it, you know. The one thing of Kobe I wanted was I wanted to meet him. That will never happen. You know, if I ever saw Kobe, in, like in my lifetime, if I would have ran into him, I would be like, thank you, Kobe, for inspiring me. Appreciate it. I wanted to tell him, I wanted to look him in the eyes, I wanted to shake his hand and say, I beat you. It's not going to happen. I just wanted a third and I was telling myself, you know what, I'm, I'm going to buy one later, I'm going to buy one later. I never did, and this happened. I was like, damn, you know. Kobe, you'll be missed tremendously. Thank you, Kobe, for all the memories. Thank you for all the inspiration. Everything that Kobe is about, his work ethic, his commitment and willingness to give back to others, and his loyalty overall. I think everyone needs someone like him in our lives. He inspired me, and I would love to hear how Kobe inspired you. I'm just trying to be better than Kobe Bryant, because that's how Kobe would have wanted it. Thank you very much for the opportunity, and rest in peace, Mama. So thank you guys for watching. This is my Kobe tribute. Hope you guys like it. Much love to everybody. Rest in peace, Kobe. You are, uh, you truly will be missed, and every day. Mamba out. Peace out. One love. Go Lakers and Kobe. Kobe Bryant forever, man. Love you, bro. Miss you, and uh, we'll see you soon, man.